I love the Lord, He heard my cry. believe that Feast of Tabernacles is just a situation you come here sleeping in tents. You find me? According to the scriptures that tells us that the purpose of us is to remember when we came out of the land of Egypt. It gets us out of our comfort zone because the Most has actually preparing us for the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is supposed to be a day of darkness and not light. A day of trumpets. You see, so when everybody else is running around here with the head cut off, because when the lights come off, most people are gonna what? Freak out. They're gonna freak out. So everybody's here and everybody's in the state, wherever you are at. The scripture says that you're supposed to gather in Zion. But wherever you're at, you're supposed to keep this feast in all your dwellings for the purpose of getting out of your comfort zone. So even if you're not here, even if you're not here, if you're in America, the purpose of this feast is to get you out of your comfort zone. So, so get out your houses, go to a park, go somewhere outside your house. Even if you're not here, you don't supposed to dwell in your own dwelling, even if you're not here. Now, the fact that the scripture's calling up 144,000 to Zion, that's specifically to present yourself to the Most High. See, it's a different energy. See, it's one thing to be here out of your comfort zone, but on the eighth day, Tomorrow, we present ourselves to the Most High. And the Most High gives, put His Word within us. And at that time, we, that's the Sabbath day. And at that time, we're supposed to read the Torah. That's where the real class come in at. And that's what these books were set out for. The Torah scroll, the Hebrew Phoenician history called the Bibles, was for tomorrow. That's when we have class. And that class we have is supposed to be going off into exactly what these words, what it means. You see, what it means. And the whole concept, I'm holding two books up. Because this book here is the book that most of our brothers believe in, which is the Torah. Although many of our brothers from Demona have cast that behind them. You see, because they felt that it's not, uh, it's not uh, written correctly or it's not uh, in the correct language or whatever they might mean. And this is the language, this is the New Testament. Now, when, when Yeshua Jesus was on the cross, he spoke in this language here. But the language that was, that, that was on the scene when he was there was this language here, it's Aramaic. The, the Babylonians came into this country, and this is Babylonian Aramaic. They came into this country and, 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 and during the time that the Mosai thrust us out, and they controlled this land ever since. And this has been the language of this land ever since. Herod the Great, later, during the Roman period, was put king over us, an Edomite. You see what I'm saying? And also, this was the language that they speak. The Jewish people that controlled, that controlled the temple, those are the ones that controlled. They, they, we, we, uh, originally, they were the ones that was, that was captured by us. You can actually read, and we're going to take you to their place. 
in the book of Joshua, the, 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 the city of Gideon came out and they deceived us into believing mm. that they were from a far off country. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then what ended up happening was that in the fact that they deceived us, I don't want to talk about this. Can you read that scripture? Find that scripture. <coughs> Command that scripture because this is one of those pearls that cheap is what? Been what? Oh, oh, back. You see what I'm saying, huh? And see, so, so, see, this, so, so what happened is that. Yeah, and we're gonna take you brothers to that city. And when we take you to that city, I've been holding that out for this specific lecture, uh, for we actually go there. But I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys the heads up before we actually go there because there's something in that city that's gonna blow your mind. We're going there today. Pardon me. We're going there today. Well, no, not, no, not, not today. You follow me? Uh, you know, hopefully when brothers get cars, we can do, we can take in that, 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 that trip. Was that? Okay, so I have a question because, you know, we teach that to come to Zion. You made a statement that you can keep the Feast of Tabernacle outside of. Of, of Jerusalem, but the Torahs tell us to keep the Feast of Tabernacle in Jerusalem, Deuteronomy 16. Mm -hmm. So is this because of grace? Give me an understanding of that, because I don't know everything. Because we've, okay. we've been telling people, hey man, you need to be coming here. You don't need to be doing these outside yeah. design. Now it's like, okay, it's, it's like a confliction I, now. No okay, okay, well, I, I, I apologize for the confliction. Before you told people that you should ask, you should check with your what? With your? But I mean, right. that, way, that, 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 way, that way, that way, that way, we've been what? On one accord. Right. You see that we've been on one accord. Okay. The fact is, is that you see my wife over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see, you see the other sisters there. The brother with a couple of sisters with wife. Well, am, am I being taped, brother? Yeah. Okay. Well, the question is, where the hell are your wife's at? That's another. Where the hell are your children at? Where do you think they living and dwelling in right now in America? Poofs. All the children and the children of Israel, suppose, this feast was specifically for the men to come up. It said all the men at the last day supposed to come up and present themselves to who? The most high. Now most of the brothers bought they what? Wives and their children with them. That's what most of the brothers do. But if you if they stay back, where do you think they was dwelling in? Booths. Is it because of the covering? Well, the, the point is that the scripture said it's commanded for all of, of the children born to be dwelling in what? Booths. So that means that if, 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 this, if this feast, it says three times in a year, all of the what? Male. Male. Male, male right. Male. All of the male are commanded. Uh, right. See, that was the part that you, you missed. Yeah. You know, it specifically said all of the sons of Israel are commanded. But that brothers, if you would think that it's the sons of Israel, then you bring your wives and children with you. Some of the brothers do, some of the brothers don't. But that don't mean that your wives and the children where they're dwelling at, Concept of all the whole concept of all this. That's why you saw us in a ride. So, so I'm, I'm sorry. So 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 just to be crystal clear here, all of the males are supposed to be here keeping the feast of tabernacles, and it's okay Period. for the, the women for the women to women and children to be dwelling in booths back at home. In the That's what you're saying. You see, and you yeah. see, and you in the ride. If you guys been in the ride, y'all saw what we actually put on the dwelling places there. We put the, this like little sukkah thing at the door. Right, right, right. You see, what I'm saying, you know, to simulate, you know, the, those that honor sukkah. You follow what I'm saying? But most of the brothers, like for instance, in the scriptures you read in, in the book of uh, uh, Nehemiah, it tells you how those that dwelled in the Jerusalem that didn't make the pilgrimage, it said that they was building their sukkahs on top of their roofs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what the Jewish people are doing right now. Hey, well, see, this They're is, building this it. The thing that's, that's happening, they think. So, 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 see, these, these are the things where, you know, when you really start, see, there, see, see, most of the brothers, basically, that was, you have two, you have two types of brothers that are in America. You have brothers that basically wasn't keeping the feast at all. They felt that you didn't supposed to keep the feast in the whole, in, in, in captivity. You know what I'm saying? They said they felt that you didn't supposed to, and then, then you got other brothers that felt that you, you can't keep the feast in the tap, captivity. You follow me? But now calling up to Zion, that's a whole new different dimension. And brothers got to really try to understand how do this Zion thing fits in the scenario of what they've been doing all along. You see? So that's what you exposed them to, and that's what this conversation is exposing them to right now. See, you know what I'm saying? I want to, for simplicity purposes, okay. is it okay for males to do the feast 
in their captivity. Okay. And we don't have to come up. Like, I don't want to come up. I'd rather do it I'd here. Well, see, okay, well, see, understand this. When Hezekiah called the children of Ephraim, the children of Israel, come up, what did they do? Israel. Zion? You follow me? But then the scripture says also that some of them humbled themselves right. and came. Right. right. So this is the same situation now. You follow me? We're calling brothers to come up. And the scripture says prophetically that who's going to answer that call? The 144,000. Only 144,000. Right. You follow me? So we, our responsibility is to make the call. Yeah. Whoever the most high put as spirit in their heart, that's 145,000, they're going to answer the call. Uh -huh. The rest of the brothers are going to mock you to scorn. You see, they're going to mock you to scorn. You see. So the fact is, though, so that you said the simplicity. You follow me? Is that this when you calling brothers up and putting this call call out, the most hot gonna choose who come up here and make that call. Three times in the year. And according to the book of Numbers, they're given a number. And according to the scriptures, you understand what I'm Everybody that come up, you understand what I'm saying, is given a number. And they count it among the children of God. And that's the deep thing about going back to the book of Revelation. Because it says that every man was numbered. Yeah. When did they number? When they came up. When they came up and received their number in the holy day and was counted. Sealed. You know what I'm saying? Sealed, right. It's sealed among the children of God. So that's that's the simplicity of this thing. So, this, so okay. this is why when you say the hundred is I've seen 144,000 and that multitude. So that multitude is counted as the nations, including those of Israel, who didn't come up in what number? And 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 and, and, and it based specifically of the sons of Israel, not counting the women. You find me? Right, because right, the I call understand. is specifically for the three times in the year. Israel is coming amongst that nation. Right, right. right. You know, three times in the year. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Come, and, and, and everyone's yeah. coming. Everyone's come up and they count it. So you can't. So so. But the brothers that's in America, you find me? They say I ain't coming up. They can. They ain't counting. Now the but the but the house of the brothers that's in America that come up. Your wife and the children, they're supposed to be enjoying in the booth as you come up, if you can afford to bring them up with you. Mm. Perfect. Everything the Most High does is decently in order. and in order. Yeah, so this, the Sun Tabernacle is not here. It's like, I, I would, because we were, this was the debate in Egypt. Like, oh, uh, you shouldn't do it if you're in Egypt. You need to come here. But I'm like, why, why don't we do it to show the culture for the family? Well, see, the culture, the family is showing the culture. Like I said, when you go into a ride, if you went in there and cleaned up, you saw people walking by our door. They, they see it's not there, but they see the little, the symbol of Sukkot in it. And when we, when we walk up, they say, hey, what is this? Yeah, because they're seeing the culture. And you see the reeds on your head, people stopping you, what is that? Because they're seeing the culture and you explain the culture to them. So the culture of the children of Israel is not the same as the culture of the Jewish. You follow me? And that makes the difference between us and them. And when they see us displaying a culture that they're not familiar with, they say, wow, where did right. that come from? Right. You know, and that's our glory, that's our light in the eyes of the nation. Right. You see, so you absolutely, when the brothers say in Egypt, let's display our culture, yes, you are. But your wife and children is displaying that culture while you, come you're on, in the right booths, here. while you're there. No, no, what I'm saying is if the brothers is killing that culture thing, saying, don't do nothing. To do it. No, no, I don't think no, the brothers well, but, that, but that's just like the brothers in when Hezekiah reached out and called them to come to Zion. Right. Right, so, that's so. just like the brothers that in Babylon, you follow me, that remained in Babylon. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Because remember that the prophet Daniel didn't return. Right. Mm. Right. He died in Babylon. Right. He sure did. You see what I'm saying? And a whole bunch of other brothers didn't return to the land with him. Right. You follow what I'm saying? So it's a lot of it's a lot of issues when we're dealing with the scripture that we dealing with. We're dealing with those same issues today as our forefathers. There is nothing new what? Under, under the sun. And that's why, again, those brothers that say that they're not coming up, those brothers that refuse to come up to Zion, those brothers that don't understand these. If you go these, to the whole show of life, you'll see me proving how that Jesus right now is in heaven, unraveling the seals and bringing plagues on the earth. Now. Everybody's looking. They say, oh, 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 oh. you're looking at the plagues. You're seeing these plagues all over the world. Yeah. I'm putting them on my paper. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Moses, where's Moses at? Where's Aaron? I'm not playing cause of no plagues. You ain't doing it. Who's doing it? Jesus. The scripture tells us that Jesus is in heaven and he is unraveling the seals of judgment on the earth. 
It's for us to proclaim that to the world. It's for us to let people know that in the book of Revelations, Jesus is causing these things to happen. And everything in the scripture says said he was going to happen. Rivers are turning to blood. You know what I'm saying? You, you got the sun and moon being darkened. You got the moon being turned to blood before the terrible day of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? All these signs in the earth and in the heavens is happening. You right. got animals dying off. You got all the plagues in Egypt happening right now. Right. Who's doing it? Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Jesus is doing it. <laughs> you find me? And it's, our, it's for us to testify that he's right now is our Moses. You follow me? And he's causing plagues to come upon the face of the earth. You know what I'm saying? Fighting for Zion. Because those plagues started to happen in the Jubilee year. In 2009, mm. you know what I'm saying? When the spirit went out on you brothers to go out anyway, mm. you know what I'm saying? And y'all, and most of you brothers came out in 2009, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, and so when these people didn't respond to closing up the Holy of Holies, when they didn't respond to closing up the holy place here in Israel, we told them to close up the holy place and to honor the holy place, then Jesus went to battle. And, started, and, God, and God appointed him to open up the seals of judgment on this world. You follow me? That's when the stock market crashed. That's when they start seeing wormwood come their way. You know what I'm saying? It's on its way right now. And when it hit the bottom of the pit, the Antichrist is going to start his system of numbering. Everything is before us. You know what I'm saying? And, this, and, so the, and all we're doing right now is testifying to what's happening because our brothers out there are blind. You follow me? They don't understand. They haven't put all the pieces together. You follow, but the two teachers are coming out of what? Zion. Out of Zion. You follow what I'm saying? And so we're sewing all the pieces up together, you see, and letting people know right now that judgment is being taken place right now. You follow me? At the right hand of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? The Most High has given Jesus to unlock those seals because there was nobody else found worthy in heaven to do it. You see? And now those seals are being unwrapped and judgment is coming upon the face of the earth and everybody tell you it's happening. Hallelujah! Everybody Hallelujah. in the world. Hallelujah! The, Hallelujah. Seed, the Chinese right. seed is happening all over the world. Rivers turned to blood in China. Rivers turned to blood in Europe. Hallelujah. Rivers turned to blood in America. Rivers turned to blood here in Israel. This reports all over the world, just like in Moses. You had frogs, you had lice. You know what I'm saying? All over the world. The world right now is being judged. You follow me? And right now, it's one thing that we need to do. We need to let the world know now that we're in Zion and they have a choice. They can come up here now, they can humble themselves, they can pave those streets with gold, they can let our people go with their resurrection, or the next seal of worms is going to be open. And a third of the people on the earth is going to die. That's where they're at right now. they get the third of the people, the thirds of ships, the thirds. You know what I'm saying? And our brothers, that we're praying, and understand this now. I'm praying that that don't happen. You right. see what I'm saying? Because the scripture says, woe unto the man that desire what? The day of the Lord. The judge, the day of the Lord. Because right. what that day mean to you? Right. You know what I'm saying? You sitting around here hoping the one, or hoping the third, you might be one of those thirds, nigga. Right. You see what I'm saying? When that, when that thing hit. That's what I was talking You see what I'm saying? And these people right now are preparing for war. You know what I'm saying? King of the north, the king of the south. And the scripture says there's only going to be few men what? Left. Few men left. Do you really want that to happen? No. You follow me? Because these people are fighting over resources as they see Wormwood, Planet X, whatever you want to call it, coming. Right. They fighting over positioning because they understand once that bomb hit, you know what I'm saying? They don't know what position they're going to be in, so they want to take care of all their business right now. Huh? We got to make sure who's going to be in control of this thing because when that thing hit, then we know we was on the top before it hit. So when it hit, we on the top. You see what I'm saying? So, they, so that's, what, that's what's going on right now. These people see it coming. They know it's coming. They're reporting that it's coming. And they position their military. You got more military ba bases of America all over the world. You just, they just put one here in Israel. Yes, sir. Because they're positioning their military worldwide because wherever it hit, they want their military to be positioned all over the world so they can maintain control. But what we're telling them, fear not. The children of Israel of 144,000 is in Zion. And the scripture gave us the commandment. They says, and for, and, and for the elect's sake, days those days can be short. 
You follow me? So what that means is that we can shorten this thing any time it is. All you need to do is let us in Zion, recognize that we're the children of Israel, and that's your job, my brother. That's your job, because they ain't listening to us. You know what I'm saying? That's your job. You follow me, huh? And I'm, I'm pointing to the white boy right there. But I'm, I'm pointing to you. Hey, 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 get the camera on the white boy. <laughs> <laughs> get the camera on the white boy. You got a video going on. Because he, because he, the scripture said that he, it's only about 144,000 of us, but it's going to be a multitude of him that what? That's true. No that man no man can, man can know. You follow me, huh? So this is the messenger right here to all of them. All, all of them. You follow me? To come on up here, to give us our reparations right now, to stop World War III, you follow me? To bring in a new world order. You know what I'm saying? Because the scripture said, and remember what the book of Daniel said. It said the ten toes, and it said that stone that hit, and it coupled the whole statue, and it said the kingdom was the saints. The kingdom was given to the saints. So it's predicted from us that either way it go, we're going to rule the world. We're going to rule this thing. That's right. And we're going to rule this thing. thing. Oh, we started prejudice first. Right. We created a mountain, and we a caucus mountain, and we sent all the so-called brothers, white people in that mountain, called them leopards. You know what I'm saying? We started prejudice. Yeah. So when it flipped around again, now prejudice on us, that's the balance. Mm. We started it, and now flipped on us, now we have experienced it. So we don't have to uh, hate white people for what they did to us because we did to them first. That's right. You see what I'm saying, brother? So now it's time for us to start a balance, you know what I'm saying, and understand that it's the most high that did all of this for us to straighten us out in order that we can rule the world, you follow me, with justice and love, you know what I'm saying, and that Jesus is the one that's going to have the rod of iron. Not us. Yeah, hallelujah. 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 You see, so so like I said, so right now what we, what we what, like I said, so just getting back on the after answering all the brothers' questions. So we're gonna be studying this tomorrow. We're gonna be studying this. You follow me? And we and, 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 and what I wanna do, I got a whole box right here. You see here? We ordered a whole box of New Testament Bible. We got a whole box waiting for our brothers. And and those of you guys that remain in Israel after the holy day. We want to go down to Demona or Rod, you know what I'm saying? And we want to pass these out to our brothers in the street to try to bring them back to who? Jesus. You know what I'm saying, huh? And we're going to testify to them. This is all. This is, uh, so uh, I, whoever didn't get none of these books, come on and get you one right now. Grab one out of there because this is the first. And what this is, this is the New Testament in Aramaic. This is the language that was at the time that Jesus was on the scene. This is the language that at the time that Moses was on the scene. You follow me? And this is the language of King David, of King Saul, and everybody else. You follow me? And, there, there, and this report, you know what I'm saying? And this, so that means that animal was moving closer because usually it travels from here to there. So that animal was moving closer. That, that, that means that's, that's, that's the sign of the land. That's telling you that the land, that river, have you guys noticed that that yeah. river then got bigger there too? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It was in a stream. Yeah. Now it then widened up. up. Yeah. You follow me? So there's things happening in this land that's giving you a great understanding that Most High is healing the land. He's preparing what's going to happen here. Fuck. More. More. There he's in the midst of us. You follow me? So, oh, so this is what's happening here, brother. So, uh, read that? right, pardon me? You want to read? So yeah, read, read that. Yeah, Gideon. Read the Gideon. Start, uh, Joshua chapter 9 and 1. And it came to pass when all the kings which were on this side of Jordan, or Yardin, in the hills and in the valleys and in all the coasts of the great sea over against Lebanon, the Hittite and the Amorites, the Canaanite, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites heard thereof that they gathered themselves together to fight with Joshua and with Israel with one accord. So you see they make a difference between the Amorites and the Jebusites. Mm -hmm. The Amorites, you know, Jerusalem and the Jebusite Jews. Continue on read, brother. And when the inhabitants of Gideon heard that Joshua had done unto Jericho and to Ai, they did work willingly and went and made as if that they had been ambassadors and took old sacks upon their asses and wine bottles, old and rent and bound up, and the old shoes and clouded upon their feet, and the old garments upon them, and all the bread of their provisions were dry and motley. And they went to Joshua unto the camp of Gigel, and said unto him, 
and to the man of Israel. We be come from a far country. Now therefore make a league with us. And the man of Israel said unto the Hivite, Peradventure, yet dwell among us, and how shall we make a league with you? And they said unto Joshua, We are the servants. And Joshua said unto them, Who are ye? And from whence come ye? And they said unto him, From a very far country thy servants are come um, become of name of fa e They lied, they lied to him. Keep going, they lied. They're from a far country, but they was right there next to him. Keep going. For we had heard the fame of him and all that he did in Egypt. So they said they believe, they believe, we believe you. Keep going. And all he did to the two kings of the Amorites that were beyond Yardin to Shion king of Heshbon, and to Ad king of Bashan, which was at Ashtaroth. Wherefore our elders and all the inhabitants of our country spake to us, saying, Take victuals with you for the journey and to go meet them, and say unto them, We are your servants. Therefore now make ye a league with us. This our bread we took hot for our provision out of our houses on the day we came forth to go out unto you. But now, behold, it is dry, and it is moldy. And these bottles of wine, which we filled, were new, and beyond they be rich. And these our garments and our shoes are become old by reason of the very long journey. And the man took of their victuals, and asked not counsel at the mouth of Fa'iyya'iyallah. And Joshua made peace with them, and made a league with them, to let them live. So now if, they, if they would have asked the Most High, the Most High would have told them, they lied. <laughs> but they went on ahead and believed them. Can you, can you read? <clears throat> and the princes of the congregation swore unto them. And it came to pass at the end of three days, after they had made a great, after they had made a league with them, that they heard that they were their neighbors, and that they dwelt among them. And the children of Israel journeyed and came unto their cities on the third day. Now their cities were Gibeon, Shephirah, Bethroth. Kurjam Jarim. And then the children of Israel smote them not, because the princes of the congregation had sworn unto them by Fai Yai Alai of Israel. And all the congregation murmured against the princes. And all the princes said unto the congregation, We have sworn unto them by Fai Yai Alai of Israel. Now therefore, we may not touch them. This we do to them. We will even let them live, lest wrath be upon us because of the oath we, we, had, we swear unto them. And the princes said unto them, Let them live, but let them be hewers of wood and drawers of water unto all the congregation, as the princes have promised them. And Joshua called for them, and he spake unto them, saying, Wherefore have ye beguiled us, saying, We are very far from you when ye dwell among us. Now therefore ye are cursed, and there shall none of you be freed from, from being bondmen, and hewers of the wood, and drawers of the water, for the house of my Allah. For the house of who? Of my Allah. So they were put as servants of the house of God. They were made servants of the house. Continue reading. And they answered Joshua and said, Because it is certainly told thy servants how that the Fa'iyai, the Alai, be commanded his servants Moses.